Satnam, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Zita Harkaran and I'm here to tell you more about Kundalini Yoga and today especially about sleep. So I'm currently at the Mediterranean Sea in Nice in France and to my right there's gonna be a sunrise. So actually speaking of sunrise and sunset it's kind of interesting right? So many people are up at the sunset and then they stay up for much longer. A natural way actually should be to wake up a little bit before the sunrise and then go to sleep after sunset and stretch it out as much as you can in both directions so that you see the sunrise and sunset. That can set your biological clock on such a level that you will never have trouble falling asleep. So if it's too hard for you to catch the sunrise in the morning try your best to be up as early as you can and really get out on the morning sun. Everything tunes, everything in your body. The strength and power that you get from the early morning sun is uncomparable. Okay, and not just be inside, indoors, but really go outside, no matter what the temperature is. So yeah, this video is going to be about few tricks and tips and meditations that you can do to help you sleep, okay? Uh, sleep is actually a very esoteric event that we do every night. It has to do with the seven chakra. It has to do with the pineal gland. And uh, it has to do with a release of the mind. So sometimes when your mind is too busy, you can sleep as well. A lot of tools for being able to sleep has to do with how we wake up and when we wake up. Another thing that is helpful with sleep, of course, is to be active during the day. It's really like children and anyone else, dogs, whatever. You are able to sleep better when you are actually active, not just active in your mind, physically active. So physical activity is the must. You, you know I'm going to say it, but I'm going to say meditation, of course, it's very important because what does meditation do? It calms the mind. And as I said, sleep has to do with seven chakra. It has to do with the pineal gland where the melatonin is produced. So any sort of meditation will do. But I want to share with you two, two things. No, actually three things. <laughs> One is when you are already in bed, okay, and there is, you know, you don't want to get up, you just want to go to sleep because you really need to get some sleep. What can you do? You start exhaling longer. Take a short inhale and really, really long, long, long exhale. On top of the exhale, you can even do a little bit of humming. It's very soothing for the body, like, uh, uh, like really exhale through your mouth, through that sound. That is the vibration that will release the stress from your body and from all the cells. It's very beautiful, it works. Okay, you'll do it for a minute or three minutes and it should absolutely release the stress in your body. If you're not in the bed, but really during the day, you want to work on that seven chakra to strengthen it. Here is a wonderful trick. You just sit in meditation and you can do it anywhere where you have few minutes, okay? You close your eyes and you place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your palate and direct your attention going up through the seven chakra. And just allow yourself to be. You don't have to just focus on anything. Just allow yourself to be. Dedicate yourself to the infinite, to the infinite power of the sky, because that's where you are gazing your attention. And then the last tip 
that I have for you is a meditation. It uses the breath and strengthening of the nervous system to help you relax and get a good sleep, deep sleep. Who doesn't want it? Who doesn't just want to get like this totally rejuvenating sleep? And it has to do with nervous system. Lots of times, right, when our system, nervous system is over activated, we are having trouble. You know, it keeps, it, it keeps waking us up. It's a great way to cure insomnia. It's a great way to cure jet lag or any problems with the sleep. Uh, it also works on your natural radiance and it kind of like brings you to the center of who you are, brings you to the place from where you can live relaxed life at the moment. Where you don't have to give out so much energy. Lots of times during the day we burn so much energy, but instead we could really live with ease. So this is what will help you with that to live in ease during the day. You can practice it once a week, or you can practice it every day, you can make it 40 day practice, see how you like it, okay? It only uses the breath, and there's a very specific breath, breath pattern that we are going to do with the mantra. It has 22 beats, so it's very special number, number of mastery. And in that way, we are going to bring our body back to its own self-mastery, self-balance, self-rhythm. Rhythm is very important for sleep. Oh, the most important, going to sleep at the same time and waking up at the same time. The rhythm, the rhythm with the nature is also very important. So let us tune in and we will begin. Oh. First, I want you to sit very comfortably, relax your shoulders, lift up your chest, lift up from your sit bones, elongate your neck. This is the most relaxed position for your body, okay? That's another thing. The body has to be relaxed. And then the meditation, the breath meditation goes like this. You will inhale in four strokes, mentally chanting mantra Sata Nama. So, and then you hold the breath and repeat the mantra Sata Nama four times. Just within you, mentally holding the breath. And then exhale in two strokes, mentally chanting Wahe Guru. Okay, so one more time. Inhale in four strokes, thinking Satanama. Hold for a repetition of four Satanamas altogether. And exhale, two strokes through the nose. Wahe Guru. Okay, very simple. You'll sit with your hands on your knees, spine straight, as I said, really beautiful. You can prop yourself. You're behind with something. And we will do it for 11 minutes. You can do it for 22 minutes, 31, an hour. Okay, hands on the knees in Gyan Mudra.
Now inhale deeply. Exhale, relax. Stay still for a moment. Listen to the mantra play within you. Feel that you belong to this infinite space. Enjoy. So, um, one more thing that I didn't mention: you can practice this before sleep, or if you like to work on the radiance and this kind of. What it means, radiance, is really the most optimal functioning of your body. That is all from me. I hope you enjoyed it. I, if you have any questions about sleep, let me know. What What are some of your issues? that you're experiencing and maybe I'll make another video or maybe I'll answer in the comments oh I definitely will answer in the comments subscribe like this video and come and check out my website happyfreespirit.com where I'm doing all kinds of trainings and meditation immersions and cleanses and all kinds of fun things Satnam A little note on the sun. Morning sun is the most powerful thing. It really communicates with your body. It communicates with all your glands. And as if like fills you in with this very gentle inner radiance. There is a different theme and different energy to every single day and when you capture it from the beginning through the sun strengthens your intuition strengthens your attunement to natural rhythms so you understand things 